In this video, I will show you how you can use ChatGPT in grading, generating tests and quizzes, and creating rubrics. Assessment can be a tedious and time-consuming task for teachers, but with the help of ChatGPT, the process can be simplified and made more efficient. Let's take a closer look. Automated grading. ChatGPT can quickly analyze students' responses and provide a score, reducing the time and effort you spend in manual grading. One way to do this is to copy and paste the essay and ask ChatGPT for feedback. For example, let's use this simple prompt. Provide feedback on this paper written by an 8th grader. And here is the response. As an AI language model, I'm impressed with the clarity and coherence of this paper written by an 8th grader. The author has effectively explained why reading is important and how it can benefit individuals. The essay is well structured with three main points, each supported by relevant details and examples. Then it goes on providing more detailed feedback on each of the points and ends with a general comment. Overall, the essay written by the 8th grader is well written, concise, and demonstrates a good understanding of the importance of reading, and so forth. Another approach for grading is to provide ChatGPT with a rubric for the assignment. By this way, you'll get more specified and detailed feedback on what you are looking for in student writing. Let's dive into an example where we use a rubric. In this rubric, we have four different areas, content, organization, grammar, and creativity, and each is rated out of 10. The rubric also includes some information about what we are looking for in each area, which ChatGPT can use to provide more accurate feedback. We have a point system where a score of 10 indicates outstanding work, a score of 8 to 9 is considered very good, and so on. Now, in the ChatGBT prompt, we are going to enter this rubric and the student paper. Analyze the student essay and provide a score using this rubric. And you copy and paste the rubric and then student paper. Here is how ChatGBT graded the essay. Content, 6 out of 10, satisfactory. The student does a good job of addressing the topic and sharing their personal experience of their summer vacation. However, the essay lacks in-depth analysis or reflection on their experience. Notice how in each area, ChatGBT provides what the students did well and suggestions for improvement. Then an overall comment, the essay is satisfactory but could benefit from more depth and creativity. ChatGPT provided an overall score of 26 out of 40 for this essay. In addition to ChatGPT providing personalized feedback for each student, what I really like about using ChatGPT is that it offers a level of consistency in grading that can be difficult to achieve with traditional grading methods. With ChatGPT, each student's work is graded according to the same set of criteria ensuring that each student receives a fair and accurate grade. And the best part, ChatGBT can do it all in a matter of seconds. It's amazing how much time and effort it can save teachers. That's a game changer, generating quizzes and tests. ChatGBT can create quizzes and tests quickly, freeing up your time to focus on other aspects of teaching. Simply input the topic, the number, and type of questions. For example, generate a multiple choice quiz, 10 questions on the topic of industrial revolution. Instantly, you'll have the 10 questions ready to go and the answers. If you already have the content, simply copy and paste it and use this prompt. Create 10 questions, fill in the blank, on the following text and you copy and paste the text and in no time here are 10 questions for your students to complete you can also refine the questions further to make it more suitable to the level of your students and their specific needs let's look at this example where we provide more details in the prompt use 
use the previous text. Generate 10 open-ended questions, high-level thinking of analysis and evaluation for 11th graders in the US. In the output, we have 10 high-level questions. Let's look closer at a couple of them. Number one, in what ways did the Industrial Revolution shape the modern global economy? And how did it lay the foundation for continued technological and economic advancement? Number 10 is interesting. In what ways did the Industrial Revolution impact the future of work and labor relations? And what lessons can we learn from this period of history in terms of technological advancements and societal change? Wow, these are excellent questions. Very impressive. Rubric design. ChatGPT can help you generate rubrics based on assignment instructions, making it easier for you to grade according to the same set of criteria. Here is an example. Let's say you want to create a rubric for a research paper assignment. Simply enter the instructions and ask ChatGPT to generate a rubric. Create a rubric, grade out of 100 for the following assignment and you copy and paste the assignment instructions. Okay, here is the rubric it generated. Seven criteria. Number one, identification and description of issue, 10 points. Number two, research, 20 points. Number three, analysis of causes, 20 points. Number four, brainstorming of potential solutions, 15 points. Evaluation of potential solutions, 15 points. I like this one. Plan of action, 15 points. This is another good one. Writing and editing, 5 points. As you may have noticed, there is more information provided under each criteria. Now, I wanted ChatGBT to create a table for the rubric, so I typed, Hey, ChatGBT, can you please create a rubric table that outlines the different level of proficiency in students' responses? I'm looking for a table that clearly defines what each level means and provides specific examples of what each level of proficiency looks like. The rubric should be easy to understand and use, and it should be tailored to my specific needs. And I pasted the rubric. It turned out the results I got weren't exactly what I had in mind. I wanted to see different proficiency levels for each criterion. So I looked online and found an example of the rubric format I wanted to use. I entered the link into ChatGBT. I actually wanted a rubric like this one in this link. And it produced this result which was much closer to what I wanted so you can always refine the results. These are just a few ways in which ChatGBT can benefit you with grading, personalized feedback, and generating tests and rubrics. Of course, ChatGBT can be used for more than just assessment. It can also be used to create lesson plans, generate class activities, and even provide personalized tutoring. Here is a video that has 12 prompts you can use to generate content for your courses. I hope these prompts have given you some ideas on how to use ChatGPT in your own classroom. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.